back, money back, woo! Money back, money back, money and back. My, with me pretty too, they look like bridesmaids. And they all think so don't be talking sideways. He said I'm, you look like this. He make sure he put Cardi down on his list. Now why this and I look on my snap. I take a man and I won't give him back. I just walk into the booth and attack. I hit this guy in the roof for collapse. All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Philadelphia Eagles. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. On the return, it's Wendell Smallwood. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Wentz now on first down. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. three yard line two yards on the pick up there but it's enough to give them a new set of downs second and one and people want to run the football this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there pick up the first down so they'll come up first and ten now from the 33 hey, four, two, two. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. Wins to throw on second down. And this is caught by Martavis Bryant. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Yes, yes, 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Play action. Now Wentz. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to. And the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky athletic. No, he's athletic. Watch him do it. It's an integral part of the quarterback run game, and he gets it done very well. Yeah, you don't like sneaky athletic, do you? That's no, just not, kind of a jab in the back. Yeah, not when it doesn't apply. I think that's a stereotype that needs to be broken down for him. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half, Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Come on now, oh, come on now, let's go. On play action, Wentz escaping the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Now it's a Johnny fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Now to try the Eagle field goal, Jake Elliott. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. And Elliott puts this one through. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. for the first time with Johnson. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. They'll come up now second and four Detroit, from the 31. Watch him now, Barney, Barney! On second down, Johnson muscles him off. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. 
So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now a first carry for Donnell Pumphrey. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges have given us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, but not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 26-yard line. the play fake. Grimes. And the tip there altered the ball flight and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. to the air on second down. Grimes, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. To throw on third down. Grimes. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, they haven't completed one yet. But I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I that. think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Go a little tennis on them. Uh, yeah. you, you like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, what was the return? It, it was a backhand. I like a that. really good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the little bit. Little bit. I love it. Yeah. Almost a mirror image. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. This is first and goal from about the eight. What's that? What's that? They'll toss it to a Ajayi. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Wins. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And nothing but daylight ahead. The 40, 30. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? 
Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Now a toss play. This is Pumphrey. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner, but where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a game. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Here's a handoff to Ajayi to begin the drive. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... This big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Working from the gun, Wentz. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. On the return, it's Tate. A quick feed from Tate. A very good return that time. 18 yards, and the Lions will take over. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? Pumphrey. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep Detroit! moving laterally, Detroit! creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. To throw on second down. Grimes eluding the pressure right underneath for Johnson. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that is going to set up a third and one. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you've got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. 
He'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. Off play action. Grimes. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A minute 52 left to play in this second quarter. We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. This quarterback now, after the pick on the last drive, three for three to start this drive. It's first and 10. Looking to throw. Grimes. And he has his receiver. That's Jones. Lions touchdown. Marvin Jones, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Lions are in for six. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Lion, Lion. That's it. 82, 82. Throwing on first is Wentz. He hits his running back, Jay Ajayi. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. I know you're trying not to scoreboard watch, but you only got three points. You're kind of hoping that that type of play there gives you some positive momentum going into the half. Yeah, I need to do something to get more than that three number that they have on the scoreboard right now. Wentz now on first down. And Wentz got it over the middle. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Brian with a catch right side. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there, 26 yards. On first down, Wentz. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Darquez Denard. He's at the 40. Past the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Lions. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys are picking it off. They're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. Extra point good by Prater. And the lead is now 17-3. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. to try again after the pick six. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. William Hayes able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. Black, black, come on. 
On second down, here's Wentz. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. From the gun, it's Wentz. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now it's Tate. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. They begin the drive with Johnson. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Fletcher Cox forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. From the gun, Grimes. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 23 yards on the play. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Now Johnson. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42 yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Back to throw. Grimes. And they'll set up shot in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Back to the air on second down. Wins. And this is Hurts with it. Right side. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. I got 
They go play action here on first down. Finding room to the 20. That one's caught. Aguilar, right side. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. They run again with a Jai. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. On, the Eagles on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. Wentz going to throw. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Now here's Johnson. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. The third quarter has not been kind to them. After they built that lead at intermission, they've seen that lead shrink. And how much of that is simply execution? How much of that is maybe you lose your edge a little bit because you've got a lead? And you do have to credit the other team some because they've made some adjustments to start to slow them down. Can they find those counters now? Those extra plays or plays they haven't run that'll be effective and get them back moving again. They'll be looking for something here. Anything to seize that momentum back. Looking to throw on second down. Grimes. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. The Lions on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Operating from the gun. Grimes. It's caught. Jones. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Now a play fake here on first down. Dumping it off for Johnson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Looking to throw. Grimes incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And Tate's got it. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. All right, here we go. Blue lining. Blue lining. On first down, Grimes. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck rule that they can fall back on anymore. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Grimes. The completion to Riddick. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. We got three. Three down. Three down. Hey, fellas, we got three. Let's go. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll run it with Johnson. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. Carry on Johnson. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. Prater for the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. Smallwood on the return. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Pernell McPhee able to get him for a loss of about three. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Shotgun now for Wentz. And the pressure gets to him again. Pernell McPhee in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. On third and long, it's Wentz. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. A good pick up there, a 22. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? That's caught out left by Perriman. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. On first and 10, here's Wentz. 
Flush to his right. Wide open receiver complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. He got 29 yards that time. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. They'll try and run for that first and goal. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. William Hayes in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Throwing now is Wentz. And that is incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. Now Wentz. Got to have this one. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. William Hayes in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Back to throw. Grimes connects it to Roberts right side. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Here's Sam Martin now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one hears away. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out. So I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Wentz. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 42. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. 
Warren looks like he'll throw here. Shakes off the side. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. It's Pumphrey on the toss. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss. Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's at the cornerback position. Over, 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 over. Again, it's Pumphrey. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. On fourth down, Grimes. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty equals turnovers. And this one winds up being intercepted. And he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Working from the gun, Wentz. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. The Eagles on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This will be third and five. Now Wentz. That is caught, it's Perriman. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Wentz now on first down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 41. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Lions, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the Week 1 defeat as they move to 2-1. and one. And they will head home next week to take on the L.A. Chargers. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they too will exit with a 2-1 and one record. And they'll get the extra week to think about this one as they return to action in two weeks' time. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.